Hi, I'm Samuel Bartholomew, and I'm a security engineer at Prelude. This week, we're releasing Goldilocks, which is the first chain in our new theme covering APT29, also known as Cozy Bear. This chain is emulating the attack that took place against the Pentagon network in 2015. It started off with a phishing email. The phishing email has a link which the user clicks and downloads a piece of malware. When executed, the malware will go to GitHub and download uh, an image. The image has an embedded command that instructs the malware to pull the user's home directory. It will then ship the user's home directory back to operator and then instruct the listening post to close down. So before we send that, we need to ensure that we have the facts that are needed to interact with an SMTP server. The SMTP server, you should be able to use any standard SMTP server. Um, the username that you're going to use to log in, and there's also a fact for a password. I have that hidden right now, that way I don't have to blur the screen. The fish.receivers is a comma-separated list of all the email addresses you would like to send to. The fish.sender is the spoof sender that you would like to have attached to the request. This might be stripped off depending on your mail provider and then you need to have the payload port and the payload URL which will host the malicious binary or malware that the user is going to click. So let's go ahead and get it started. We will run Goldilocks, hit deploy. You can see that uh, the phishing email has been sent. Go ahead and look here. You can see the email came in, um, standard phishing email, telling the user that they need to download a security patch. From there, we'll go ahead and follow the link. The file is downloaded. We have to tell them we want to keep it. Go ahead and go to our downloads folder and double click the piece of malware. And just like that, the malware has downloaded a photo that has the embedded command into it. It has grabbed the user's home directory and it has shipped it back to operator, which you will be able to see here. These are all the files that were in the user's home directory.